I am a Republican, and many of the things that he did policy-wise were exactly what I wanted to see. I love the judges. I love the tax cuts. And he kind of, you know, for lack of a better word, crapped over his own legacy by doing what he did at the end of it. The secretary's wife started getting sexualized threats on her cell phone, and I believe the Twitter, Twitter threat started with me, and then emails not long after. Uh, things like, you know, my birthday was coming up soon, and people post about this, well, enjoy your last birthday. They send like a, a, a gif of a black cake with like a candle, one candle on it. Um, I remember people sending me pictures of my house with the address going sleep with one eye open. And then we had people who were just simple election workers who did not sign up for any of this. Culpability ultimately falls on the, the gentleman who started all this, which is the president and those around him who he chose to listen to. He had many people around him telling him, none of this is true, and he chose not to listen to them because it's not what he wanted to hear, um, which, you know, that's not responsible and it's not what leaders are supposed to do. John Lewis was a hero. He is an icon and a lion of his generation. This final bill that bears his name now it does things that I think are not going to be long term helpful to people's faith in elections because it's going to be nationalizing elections in large part. One of the great security keys for our elections in this country is the decentralized nature of them. If you start standardizing the rules across every state boundary and doing a one-size-fits-all, you're going to raise costs, you're going to, you're going to actually make it more difficult for people to actually vote. A lot of this is politics. A lot of this is we want the issue to stay alive because the myth of voter fraud is just as dangerous and bad as the myth of voter suppression. I don't think it's a healthy thing to do to keep on focusing on this because the claim of voter suppression is not true, the claim of voter fraud is not true. What I really want is both sides to stop weaponizing election administration. Let professionals do their jobs.